In the last episode of Cruising Sea Venture, we went and found some lagoons and rapids to try to explore in the dinghy. We ended up cruising in some fog past the northern end of Vancouver Island on our southbound journey. Then we found even more fog to cruise in while eventually arriving in Port McNeil. Welcome to our last video from the 2018 Alaska trip and our trusty map of course. So let's take a look at the map and see where we go in this final episode. We're going to start off where we left off in Port McNeil. Sail south, cross through the Broughton Islands to what we call Bootleg Cove is a local name for it I believe. Then from Bootleg Cove we wound ourselves back out and around Up by Hanson Island to Johnstone Strait, where we came south to the little village marina of Kelsey Bay. From Kelsey Bay, we continued on down Johnstone Strait. But here we cut over and went to the Octopus Islands. From the Octopus Islands, we cruised south out into the Strait of Georgia where we continued all the way south to Buccaneer Bay. From Buccaneer Bay we cruised out and around and continued on south back to Washington but we're going to end the series here because there's lots of great video already south of there and we'll give you some more clues about where to find even more great video at the end of this episode. All right, the sun is setting in Port McNeil. The wind has been blowing today and it's blown all the smoke away and you can see blue sky on the horizon. So that's pretty cool. This is Bootleg Cove. All the boats are lined up in a row, taking the middle of the bay. We're at the head of Bootleg Cove, and there's an old wreck here on the shore. I was thinking we might be able to sneak through here, but uh, we might have waited for too much water to go out. But there's one of those lovely crabbies we're looking for. Divine one? Right there, a little one. A red rock, it looks like. See him? Okay. It's a lovely calm morning in Bootleg Bay. The rains came in during the night and gave everything a good shower. But we still woke up with a scent of smoke in the air. You can see everything's calm and actually quite beautiful. Just came right to the boat. There he is. Oh my gosh, how big he is. swimming toward us right there. There's another one. Oh! Oh, oh goodness. 
Where'd he go? Kelsey Bay Marina. It's a small little marina on Johnstone Strait. We've never been here before, so we thought we'd check it out. And we happen to be parked next to a processor. At least we call them a processor. They collect fish from other fish boats. And there's another fisherman here who just pulled up. So I want to see if I can figure out what they do. So there's guys down in those two holes. And they're just pulling up ice. And he's taking it over to the other guy. Amazing looking tacos. Jim's got his fish and chips, and we're at the little cafe where Sea Venture is out the window, and this place is just a happening little place. Here we wanted to show you the current in Johnstone Strait in the distance. There's a a lot of white caps out there and it's caused by the wind opposing current. We have about 20 knots of wind heading northbound and the current is southbound and that's what causes the buildup of currents. And on the side here you can see where old ship relics were used to create the breakwater here at the marina. This is the history of the Heritage Trail and the wharf in this Kelsey Bay area. And primarily it talks about how the ferry industry impacted the community because it was the only way that people could come to the community. And here is the ferry wharf for, that was built. The logging is a big part of the community here. And here is the logging collection area, if you will, um, for the industry. It looks pretty quiet, but there's a story behind that. And then here is the community, the totem, and there's a pond back behind. And primarily what we found in that area was just residential homes. As far as a town, we didn't see it. This is the river delta that leads out to Johnstone Strait and supports the logging community. It was really full of birds and uh, pretty cool looking river delta. This is part of that log sorting area again in that big yard that Rosie mentioned there was a story about. We learned that logging was basically shut down due to the wildfire concerns for the summer, but it's very active in the winter. Can I get you anything else? I think we're good. Good, All thank right. you. Oh, yeah. Breakfast at the Kelsey Creek Cafe. Rosie's. And, uh, Homemade bread. Get that? Well, here we go in a speeded up entrance to the Octopus Islands.
He shaved. And the Octopus Islands are really popular uh, marine park. So lots of lots of boats anchored out and about, but that's all cool. We're gonna go see if we can find somewhere to put the crab pots down. Yes, because the bait has been in the dinghy and it has matured. It's time to get it underwater. All right, we're at the head of Wyatt Bay, where there's a trail that goes to Small Inlet or something like that, and to a lake. So we're gonna go see what we can find. But we're just coming up the trail here, and I noticed that it looks like this is an old midden from villages past. It's kind of like the garbage dump of um, shells, yeah, of clam shells, and you can see. A lot of them dug out a bit here. But at any rate, just kind of interesting. Usually you see these ridges and you can see it goes all along here. You can see the shells back in that area and I presume it probably goes runs along, along the other end of the beach as well. Yeah, so exactly. Two or three feet deep of shells, right? Yeah. It takes hundreds of years to accumulate from a, from a village of First Nations village. Has there, yeah. So anyway, kind of cool. Let's go find the trail. small inlet. Might be aptly named.
It's about 6, 10 a.m. this morning. The sun doesn't rise for another 15 or 20 minutes. We are cruising out of the Octopus Anchorage and uh, working our way towards um, Surge Narrows. That's it. We're going to Surge Narrows today. We want to be there about 9, 7 a.m. for the slack tide. So hence the early morning departure. It's a beautiful, calm morning. Clouds, though, so we'll see how today turns out. We're approaching Surge Narrows. It looks pretty benign at the moment. It can run at about eight knots. So uh, glad to see it nice and quiet. through here and they're we're right at slack and there like isn't a slack I think it just switches two knots against us now oh wow it's wide open going forward yeah. and slack was technically one about three minutes ago yeah 702 yeah or something like that yeah Look at our speed, 5.5, five, five, and we're just fighting a current here. We're port, uh, approaching Thornby Island, which is kind of close to the Nanaimo-ish along the uh, Strait of Georgia, and we're entering a bay where we thought we could anchor. It looks like it's just packed with little boats, so we'll find out what's going on here. Uh, but I think there's a spot behind some islands where we might be able to drop the hook for tonight. The community in Thornby Bay, or Thornby Island, Buccaneer Bay is where we're at. There's homes all around. It looks like it's just a happening place. We were here in June last year, the dinghy. That's when I accidentally inflated my inflatable life jacket getting out of the dinghy. And, um, and there was no one here, so we're kind of stunned how busy it is. This is awesome. ferry outside the anchorage. It's about 7 a.m. and we left Thornaby Bay, headed southbound through the island group into a um, little bit, a couple foot chop. Looks like we have some wind opposing current, about 20 knots of wind on the bow and along with the southbound current, but we will push on through back toward the Gulf Islands and Washington. We finished our 2018 summer cruise to Alaska by cruising these beautiful waters of the Strait of Georgia. It was a nice, calm, flat seas, no wind adventure. Thanks for joining us for this episode and for our entire 2018 Alaska series. We really hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun on not only that uh, cruise, but uh, uh, showing you the video of it as well. Yeah. Um, you'll notice at the end of this video, we, we, we kind of ended it in the Strait of Georgia, headed toward the Canadian Gulf Islands, the uh, Washington San Juan Islands, and Puget Sound as we cruised back to Everett, Washington. Uh, we've done some prior videos from those other areas further south and, and uh, that you can watch. And if you'd like more videos from the Puget Sound area and the San Juan Islands, we can really recommend MV Freedom. Their YouTube channel is uh, great, and we highly recommend you look it up and watch their videos. We really enjoy Sean and Elizabeth's travels throughout Washington uh, area. So for us, yep. next. Times have changed. Times have changed. Uh, even though this series was from 2018, right now we're in the middle of the... Uh, COVID-19 pandemic yep. and uh, our plans like many people's plans have changed uh, as a result but uh, you'll Absolutely. have to stay tuned mm -hmm. to see what's coming next we are we are not sitting in a marina we have been on the move in Sea Venture yep so uh, for now from our secret and undisclosed location 
<laughs> unless you track us on closed. marine traffic, then you'll figure no, out where we are. We are. Bonus um, points if you can figure out where we are and put it in the comments. Yep, um, absolutely. As we film this on what is today? We don't know the date. <laughs> now, is that a good sign? It's, it's Thursday. Thursday. Friday. 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 It's Friday. Friday. The July 10th? 11th? Somewhere around in there. there. Somewhere yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. we, we don't know. We kind of got rid of our calendar and we actually need a new one. No, so we'll know. work on that. We don't know the date and we don't care. We do a little bit. Tides matter. Yeah, okay. So, so uh, until our next short video where we're going to tell you our, our, our uh, well, 2020 what plans. What we're up to, yeah. yeah. Is that Wish, it? That's it. Okay. Wishing, Wishing you, you no, no wind, wind and flat, flat seas. seas. Bye, everybody. Bye.